um, exemptions from ACCA. This is very one common question, which is sometimes which is misunderstood as well. Um, you only get one exemption. So you know that ACCA qualification has 13 exams. DIP IFR is one exam. It is financial reporting. If you pass the DIP IFR exam and then you wish to continue your ACCA qualification, uh, what exemptions do you get in ACCA? Just one exemption, which is F7. That's all. You will not get anything else. In past, like until 2016, ACCA used to give two exemptions, F3 and F7. But then they removed F3, which was a very logical decision because F3 is a bookkeeping paper. DIP IFR is a financial reporting thing, not bookkeeping. So in DIP IFR, you don't expect to learn debits or credit or stuff like that. You all be assumed that you already know that. So when you do your DIP IFR exam, you move to ACCA, you get F7 exemption.